a profound respect for this magnificent institution, especially its extraordinary community of colleagues in learning, and inspired by the great academic chain of being that's been forged throughout the ages, I humbly and eagerly accept the presidency of Bristol Community College. With unqualified commitment and boundless enthusiasm, I dedicate myself to this college and to this community. I first met Jack in the fall of uh, 1999. He was one of the people we invited to come to the college to be interviewed uh, for the position. I think right off the bat, he made a very good impression on a lot of people. Well, it had a great history under uh, President Farley and before that, and uh, President Hodnell. Uh, it's uh, ideally located uh, in terms of a community college, I think, with the, now they call them gateway cities, they don't think they called them that then. Low levels of literacy, low levels of educational attainment, this is ideal position for a community college and I wanted to be part of that growth. One of the most important things is location, location, location. And it has to be nearby and accessible and easily uh, obtained for the students. And that was a big lesson for me. Community college campuses have played an instrumental role in the revitalization of the downtown area. And I know and I'm very confident that that will happen here in New Bedford as well. We're part of the community. We're not just in this city, we're of the city. I thought that what would happen by opening a campus in New Bedford would be simply to move current BCC students who lived in New Bedford simply closer to home and uh, not necessarily a great influx of new students and how wrong I was. We surveyed the students in New Bedford and some 60 percent had not been in higher education and not, no, let alone not being at BCC. I used to hear from a lot of people in New Bedford that wanted to take courses that they just couldn't get to Fall River because of transportation because a lot of our students that go to our New Bedford campus, they don't have cars. You can't rely on public transportation to come to Fall River. But because it was right there and they got programs that they can do on weekends, it's very affordable to a lot of people in New Bedford who might not have had a chance to go to college. In addition, this uh, partnership at first with the Princeton Review mm -hmm. and then with Higher Education Partners, HEP, enabled us to form a, a very productive public-private partnership that uh, was a pioneering uh, effort and uh, attracted a lot of attention. We were able to put in state-of-the-art labs and expand our nursing program, or open up some other, other health programs, and as well as our liberal arts and other offerings that we normally do. We're standing in front of a, literally a dream that's come true, the opening of our Bristol Community College uh, Center at Attleboro. This center is the fulfillment of our dreams and will be a place where dreams come true for countless area learners. BCC has had and still continues to have a tremendous impact in Attleboro. Um, uh, Mayor Judy Robbins at the time and I um, were anxious uh, when Jack uh, contacted us. Um, he was very um, pro trying to do something in Attleboro and uh, we were very excited that uh, he had shown an interest. We were able to get this Texas Instrument campus uh, building and it's worked out uh, just terrific. We uh, have uh, remodeled it uh, to state-of-the-art uh, equipment and uh, labs befitting uh, what the uh, residents in, of uh, greater Attleboro need for their education. This was a perfect opportunity for us. Uh, it was a, a great place for the convenience of our residents. Uh, it's a great economic development tool uh, for the city. Uh, and it's been a resounding success. What a milestone event for Bristol Community College. Uh, we're very pleased uh, to welcome you to this brand new Taunton Center, Bristol Community College Taunton Center at the Silver City Galleria Mall. Taunton, again, we went through a number of buildings and the financing just didn't work out. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, this idea came open at the mall. Another public-private partnership, a pioneering project that uh, kind of broke the mold, if you will, and they got a lot of attention, a lot of publicity uh, as we moved into the mall and uh, in a state of the art. The impact on the community in Taunton is, I, I, I just can't say enough about what BCC has done for our families, our children's moms and dads. I've had the good fortune to go visit some of the classes at BCC. The impact in terms of their employment opportunities and their self-advancement has just been incredible. I think people will look back on this day 
as a uh, kind of a turning point. Here is another step uh, for Bristol Community College and uh, I'm just uh, very excited about this. Workforce development and adult basic education and English for speakers of other language, those areas are crucial in economic development. You can't go very far without uh, earning that high school equivalency or being able to uh, communicate in English uh, and also being trained as a worker. Businesses may not necessarily know about it, but they rely on the work product that comes out of the facility on Duval Street. There are many colleges that I've learned that say that they have a workforce center or say that they have a workforce academy or an institute. There is nothing like what has been created here at Bristol Community College. I've always believed that uh, higher education should uh, not only um, profess what should be done, what the community should do about this topic or that topic, but we should model it and do it ourselves. It's, it's important that the college stand as a beacon for the importance of state sustainability. We showed that it could be done, and uh, there is a, a bit of an investment cost, but it's quickly paid back uh, in, the, uh, in the outcome. Uh, for example, the solar panels provide 70% of the electrical costs of the campus. The new building is zero, so it costs nothing to the college uh, to, to maintain, uh, if you will, in terms of uh, electricity and uh, utilities. So it, uh, it is something that uh, we're very proud of. We have to be of the community, not just in the community a part and parcel of the community and uh, that means going to these events and being attuned to what the, what the needs are throughout the community. It helps us with our programming but it also uh, ensures in them, them, the people in the community, that BCC is standing by as a resource to help any way we can. And I wanted to marry uh, a faculty uh, research interests with the uh, needs of the community and the college. Uh, to have a particular interest that uh, fits in with the community uh, is very important, and or uh, better is the college. So some of the examples of the Presidential Fellowship, the Lusso Central was the first one, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be uh, still going strong today and uh, marries the, uh, the great Portuguese, the Lusso speaking cult uh, culture that we have in the whole region. You know, if you're teaching five classes, if you have a lot of committee work, or if you're doing some of the other release time work, there really isn't the time to pursue a particular thing. So I really appreciated the fact that, uh, that I had those opportunities and that he provided those opportunities. Our, our trustee chair, uh, uh, Joseph Marshall, was a Vietnam veteran and he was instrumental in getting us uh, some funding to move forward with a veterans center. Uh, we're very excited about that and continue to strengthen the services that are available to our veterans. We also have a multicultural student center, uh, the women's center. We're very excited about all of this. We're expanding the health center. These are all uh, st uh, student services at this point. I hope that we can expand it in the future into community services. I wanted to marry BCC uh, with the community in recognizing the great achievements of Dr. King, but also in a larger scale uh, to uh, become a warm and welcoming uh, environment for all points of view. Uh, and I'm very proud of that, that uh, uh, community breakfast uh, continues the, to this day and uh, we have a course, a free course for community people on the writings and uh, speeches of Dr. King and I thought it was a wonderful way to uh, honor him uh, and uh, demonstrate BCC's commitment to diversity. The idea is to uh, promote uh, uh, community feeling about BCC. Uh, I know every, every game we're in the newspaper about BCC. Uh, and uh, uh, it is a recruiting tool, and it, um, it and uh, you know what um, is very important is that not just for the athletes, but for faculty and staff and other students who come to the games, and they uh, get into the spirit. Uh, it's been one of the heartwarming things of my career is to see uh, dedicated faculty and staff and students coming to the games regularly. There are probably a hundred thousand people in Bristol County. Who have taken college classes, improved themselves, improved the lives for their families, and improved their community because of his leadership. 
that's uh, personal impact, that's civic impact, that's community impact, and that makes us stronger and better able to compete. More and more people have uh, become to realize the uh, importance and the value uh, of, uh, of community colleges, the affordability uh, for their children and uh, other students who want to see in price comparisons uh, and the quality it is no good unless there's great quality and we have the best faculty in the world here. Since I came here, President Sprague has been nothing but super supportive. I mean, we have facilities that rival most four-year institutions. So we have state-of-the-art equipment. Um, we've always had his support in traveling to various conferences and, and training opportunities. So I, I can't say enough about how supportive he's been of the life sciences and biotech specifically. His thing has always been about the students and it's the present, the future students, the present students, and the past students. One of the things that I think the students really like about him is that he's very involved with the student body. So um, you'll have maybe like an international day or orientation or just like a club event, and he's always there, um, um, you know, talking to the students, getting their concerns. So I think I think his leadership and his just his presence in general is going to be very missed. When I met with Jack, he was the reason why I actually came to BCC. I had really researched the position, I had researched the college, and um, it truly is a BCC family, and he was responsible for that. Jack has an addiction to popcorn. <laughs> he loves popcorn. When he has a bad day, if I'm around, I know he's, I always made him some popcorn, and he very much enjoyed that. Try to give him the low sodium, the low, you know, little bit of butter, not much butter, uh, the healthier one, um, but he loves popcorn. And not too many people know that. Well, I believe he has the same thing for lunch every day, and I don't know if that's okay to share that. But And it's, it's a lovely lunch, but it's a homemade bread that his wife makes him, and he has that every day for lunch if he's yeah. in the office. Large paper clips. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Yes. He wants yeah. large Bumba. paper clips. No, no, the large. The, ju the jumbo. The jumbo. Yeah, he yeah. Like, yeah. He does not, not no. like those little ones. No. I think his dedication and devotion to BCC has been absolutely outstanding and unsurpassed. Mm. Yeah, he, he really, he, he lives, eats, and breathes the college, and, and no, no matter is small enough that he will take it on, and you know, whether it's a student, a faculty, or staff, you know, he'll, he, as well as our office, you know, we are trained to help anybody who comes through the door or calls us, you know, at least direct them to the appropriate person, and Jack takes it beyond. You know, he really takes everything to heart and everything really means so much to him. It was an honor and a pleasure to work with you and the BCC family. I hope I lived up to your expectations. Have a wonderful retirement with Joanne and your family. He was the, the community's president. I mean, he was the guy who walked around, talked to everybody, knew everybody. Um, he wasn't up in his ivory tower just, you know, ruling. He, um, he, he considered everybody a friend. My wife has just been uh, unbelievably, uh, throughout my whole, our whole marriage of 43 years, you know, she's uh, uh, been just wonderful, wonderful understanding. Uh, some of the things, oh, I got a meeting I have to go to tonight. There were a lot of family sacrifices that were made, but um, I think, you know, the kids always knew that dad taught them to follow their dreams and, uh, for them to be a part of fulfilling his dream was just a really important piece to them as well. Everything about him makes me very proud. Um, we've, from being a young kid to being an adult, we've watched him work so hard, um, where even when we would be playing games, he'd show up in a suit and tie because he'd be at a meeting and he wouldn't miss it for anything. Um, he's always, always been there for us and that's what I'm proud of the most. Being a father now, a father of four, uh, uh, I look back on you know, many kind of subtle lessons he taught, so uh, I draw on his fatherhood more than ever now. I'm not sure uh, where are we going to go. I, uh, I uh, mentioned to Joanne uh, that I would like to volunteer in the Children's Museum. As soon as I said I'd have those children marching lockstep down the hall, you know, and get them in order. She said, you're not going anywhere near that place. <laughs> the first thing he needs to do is clean out his files, Jack. And then I hope he's going to be able to uh, find some time and uh, 
maybe get into some of his uh, Vietnam uh, history as well. I'd like to see him do whatever he wants because I think he can achieve anything he puts his mind to. Um, I'd like to see him be with his grandkids all the time because he absolutely adores them. Babysit. Babysit. Uh, co help coach Little League. And uh, 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 we look forward to having him around a lot more. He could do a lot of things, probably. Um, I think he should just like stay here because he's done a lot of hard work. Congratulations, Grandpa! As you can imagine, there's a long list of things I've missed, but uh, perhaps most important are the personal relationships, uh, working with such wonderful people. I don't mean personal friendships, but just personal knowing all the faculty and the staff and the students. Uh, uh, I'm going to miss that. It's going to be a big void in my life uh, uh, upon leaving. Uh, it's been wonderful just walking outside, talking to people uh, outside the office, talking to people around the campuses. Uh, it's been a great thrill for me.